Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Tan here. Today we are doing percentage. So the objective number one is to understand percent and express percentage as a fraction or decimal. So in this example one, you can see that there are 10 row by 10 column that make up 100 square. So one whole square is divided into 100 parts. So one out 100 parts is shaded. So we read 1%. So this unit here is your unit for percentage. So 1% is the same as 1 out of 100. You can see 1, 0, 0, 100. So 100% will be one whole. From fraction, you want to change to decimal because it's out of 100. So this is your 100 place. That's why it's 0 0.01. If they ask you to express 45% as a decimal in example two, you can use a calculator, press 45 divided by 100. That will give you 0.45. If there's no calculator, Simply change to fraction, that is 45 out of 100, so we know that it's 0 0.45 in your 100 place. Besides changing to 100, sometimes you can have it in denominator 10 or 1000. For example, 3 out of 10, or oh, I say 30% in fraction is 3 out of 10, so it's 0 0.3. So these are 10. Oh, 12.5% is 125 over 100, 1,000, so 0.125,000. Example 3. Express 60% as a percentage. So put it over 100 and remember to change to simplest form. So I divide by 20, divide by 20. So I get 3 out of 5. Express 0 0.7 as a percentage. So 0 0.7 is equal to your this in your tenth. So if you put it in 0 0.70, it'll be your 100. So 70 out of 100, that is 70 percent. How about changing fraction to percentage? First, make your denominator into 10, 100, 1000. So in this case, I'm making it into 100. So times 25, times 25, I get 25 out of 100. So this is 25 percent. Now, let's look at the practice question. Express the fraction as percentage. 7 out of 10. This is also known as 70 over 100 equals 70%. Here, you say to out of 100, divide by 2, you get 60 out of 100. So this is 60 percent. Question 2. The figure below is made out of identical square. What percentage of the figure is shaded? So if you put in fraction, this is known as 3 out of 5, that's shaded. So make it denominator 100. So I times 20, times 20, I get 60 out of 100. And that's how I get 60%. So 60% of the figure is shaded. Question 3, express 0 0.5 as percentage. So 0 0.5, is 5 out of 10, 
is 50 out of 100. So that gives you 50%. Answer, 50%. Mastery level two. The objective is to express percentage of a quantity and understand all as time. And we solve work problem on GST, discount, and interest. Example one, find the value of 20% of 7,500. So this is the, the model. So out of the whole rectangle that's 100%, this is 20% part of it. And you put 7,500. So first method is to write this as 100% is 7,500. Then you find 1%, take 7,500 divided by 100. So here also divide by 175 and times 20 to get 20%. So 75 times 20 is 1,005. Second method, is to put 20% of 7,500. And this word off means time. So it's 20 out of 100 times 7,500. Okay, so a quick way to do cancellation. Divide by 100, cancel to zero. Divide by 100, cancel to zero. So left with 20 times 75, and that gives the answer 1,500. Example two, 40% of the children are boys. There are 32 boys. How many children are there? So this is the model. So they asked to find all the children with 100% and 40% of the children is the boy, that is 32. So two methods to get the answer. First, write 40% is equal to 32. And you find 1%. So you divide by 40, divide by 40. That's give you 0 0.8. Then you find the full 100%, the children. So 0 0.8 times 180. Second method is to simply put your 32 boys over 40% than 100%. And you press it into calculator, you get 80 children. Now, let's practice this question.
So question one, it said that there are 300 pears and apple. So let's underline this. It means 300 fruits in total. So 40% of the fruits are pear. How many apples are there? So there are two methods. First method, okay, is to say that 100% is your 300 fruits. So you find your 1%, so you divide by 100, you get 3. Then you find 40% to see how many pairs are there. So 3 times 40, 120 pairs. Then you take the number of fruits minus the pair you apple, which is 180. Second method, you should take 40% of the fruits. That means that 40 out of 100 times the fruits, 300, press into calculator, you will get 120. After you know there are 120 pairs, you take 300 fruits minus the pair that will give you apple. Question two, there were 30 adults in your data, that means out about 75% of the audience. How many audience were there? So they say that this 30 adults is 75%. So first method, okay, you can write 75% is your 30 adults. And they ask for audience with 100%. First, you find 1%. So you take 30 divided by 75. Your 75 divided by 75 give you 1. So 30 also divided by 30, 75. And that will give you 0 0.4. And you find 100%. So you take 0 0.4 times 100. And that will give you. 40. So there are 40 audience in total. Second method is to take your 30 adults divided by your 75% times your 100%. So that will give you 40. Next. In Singapore, GST, good, and service tax in Singapore is 7%. So if you go outside, okay, do take note of the receipt, whether is there any GST included. And normally it does. With that, Mr. Tang, wish you a good day ahead and do practice on our e-learning website. That is www.studysingaporemath.com. So thank you and wish you a good day ahead. Goodbye.